and we wish them well. Kia ora koutou. Cool. Well, um, I call the Honourable Rick Barker. Two brief points. The first one is that in this debate over sleepovers, one of the key points that I think has been overlooked is that these people who are asleep at night carry responsibility. And there are lots of people in this world, in New Zealand, who get paid fabulous salaries, not because of the work they do, but because of the responsibility they carry. And the people who are in charge of these rest homes and these homes at night carry the responsibility for all of the people who are in them. And if you think about responsibility and the responsibility for the care of those people and have to ca carry that responsibility, the amount of money they get paid is inadequate. The second point I want to make is this is historical. This House has to look in the future at legislation and support mechanisms which pay people in, these sorts of, in this sort of category of work a wage which is appropriate. $13.50 an hour is simply inadequate recompense for the amount of work these people do. The personal care, the personal chores that they have to do for people in their homes and in uh, these particular establishments is incredibly personal and very direct. I don't think there would be anybody in this House who would want to have to clean up the sorts of messes and take care of the responsibility for the things that these people do at all, no matter how much they are paid. We expect these people in our community to do this for a measly $13.57. I think that's wrong. I have never agreed with it. This House should never agree with it. And we should put in place mechanisms to see and ensure that these people are paid appropriately and funded. So the challenges for, the, for this Parliament is to do right by these people in the future. Tidying up the past, but we need to do things for these people in the future. My last point, Mr Speaker, on behalf of myself, I, I want to say thank you to the Speaker uh, and all those who have supported uh, this House through the last three years. Thank you. Paul Rauhui, Thank you, Mr Speaker.